<laughs> We're live from the beautiful beaches of Bermuda, where we got man, a dog fight ready to show up tonight. We got the Pharaohs taking on the Black Guard, and man, it's going to be a good one. We got Dante Green going up against Damian Paris Johnson, and well, a couple good old lines versus each other. Couple great. Rangus McDangus going up against Omar uh, Osama bin Blockington and Rocky Ravioli. Battle of these offensive lines are going to be dangerous. Not a lot on the offense for the black guard. Not too much on the defense as well besides a deadly rookie linebacker duo and Jethro Death, Death Row and AJ Mayo. But look, these teams, man, it's going to be a... Uh, <laughs> It's the first preseason game in Bermuda. It's more just about having a good time and enjoying some football in front of a sold-out crowd and the wonderful traditions uh, here at Bermuda Stadium. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we, as announcers, is the first time we're actually not live in the game uh, or at the stadium. We're in the studio here at the Run World Sports Network, calling it from here. You might see some people jump in and out. Uh, but, man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good one. And... Um, Kickoff is about to happen, so let's head down to the field and let's get this one going. Alright, we got the coin toss ready to go, man, as we get to see the uh, black card start off with the ball first. We're going to see if Dante Green gets going at all. Uh, they just lost Sammy Ruggs earlier in the week, released him, and then he signed with the Pegasi. Uh, now we get to see already had a uh, we got we got to see him take on the stags and Houston the game before that that was a fun one uh it was a lot of fun we had uh uh Xerox and Henry on the call for that one that was a great game a lot of fun All right. now we're here for the prime time game of the week and like I said this is the first time ever on a prime time game that we're not calling it from the game we are live from the studio AWSN studio uh, we might be having some uh, some guys jump in and out here. We might be having uh, Micah Pope with us, legendary CWSFL running back. We might have Jay Woods with us, legendary CWSFL wide receiver. Maybe we'll see our man uh, Harry Cheddar, legendary defensive back uh, in the CWSFL. Could be a, a day of vets here in the booth. As we get started with a five-yard run from the McBot. Dude, this game is about to be intense. Uh-oh. We got some bets showing up, man. We got Jay Woods and Micah Pope here with us. What's y'all's predictions here as we're early on into the game? He, um, Ferris, Ferris. absolutely smashed the black cards. No bias here. <laughs> That's once a player for the Pharaohs. Michael, no. uh, Micah Pope seems to avoid... Uh, <laughs> uh, no offense to the black one, but... The, the, the um, the the um, former black guard with the decision right there. Yeah, playing against the former team, found a way to get moved this uh, off season. And what's crazy is the Quisha uh, Quan went on to say that uh, found out through uh, through a ping and transactions that he uh, was traded. Didn't even find out from any uh, general manager or nothing. Was Dude. hurt the way he found out. Had to find out through the media. Not classy. He didn't even know that he was on a block for weeks before he got traded. What a spin move right there. Now there's uh there's word that um at the end of the first quarter here, uh the black guard are going to bring little Johnny out to the to the field and um do a little celebration for him from his early days as a Salt Lake City Comet, leading them to the Gold Bowl back in season two. You mean the Pharaohs? No, the the Comets. The Comets. Led the Comets back to the Gold Bowl in season two before becoming a Pharaoh. Can you believe that? But who remembers when the Comets were actually like that? Lost bro. to the Pharaohs as well. But touchdown, Pharaohs! Lester, 66 yards to the house. Wow. Already on the Remember board the here. Arrows when the comments were actually good, bro. What a time. Well they had a they almost had a season last year. 
They were six and four, Almost. but they had that one. I guess it was a one hit wonder, but they're going to be all right. They're going to bounce back. Ownership's Davis, now getting back involved. Dave is a good GM. Yeah. I'll leave him to yeah. uh, rebuild oh. his team. Yeah, ownership stepping back in to put their hands in, into things and getting get things going. Um, they're ma helping making moves. So, Dante Green. Oh, Dante Green. Down the sideline. Won a gold Down bowl. Jay yeah, won a gold bowl with the Pandas. Came over here with Bermuda balling out. Left all alone. Kind of like that meme with Will Smith and uh, Fresh Prince. Everybody left him, but um, that's all right. He's going to make the most of it. McBod is not going anywhere, bro. Well, you gotta be glad though that McBot caught it. This team is pretty much filled with McBots. This is like a scrimmage, I guess, for the Pharaohs. Now, I'm just that pad weak. I'll just pad my question stat. to the Black Guard is how are they gonna respond after losing their star quarterback, Omar Leonard, to the Lancers? And the star quarterback to the Lancers is now running back and looks pretty scary. Very scary. Um, but they are <laughs> almost inside the red zone here. And that's going to get them closer. Are the Pharaohs about to give a touchdown up to uh, Nick Box? To the Bermuda McBots, I think so. Nah, I can get it stopped. Good stop. Pit. Oh. oh, those drops by the McBot. Ready, McBot to the McBot. Study arts. And touchdown, McBot. Touchdown, Bermuda. And everybody knows the tradition here in Bermuda, man. When you when the, when Bermuda scores, drink up. Trying to copycat them, Baltimore Orioles. You know, the crazy thing is they you might not get too many of those this season, so you gotta enjoy the ones you can. That's true. Sarah, he's been surprising me. He's been doing, he's been having a good um, preseason right here. As Mo Lester, um, 30 yard run. Lester's looking kind of dangerous on these runs up the middle. Now, Steve, no, um, Scurvy Steve up the middle, 11 yards. Israel, the um, he was known for having a very good game um, in the last game last season, putting up a, a, a great stat line. Uh oh, what a pass! Oh dang! He, he no, he thirty-one yards. Celebrating in her face. Um, hop stepping in her face. Disrespectful. That was nasty. <laughs> 14 to 7, under a minute 30 left to go here in the first half between uh, the Pharaohs and Bermuda. But man, this is a good one, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Oh, 
Sean Dante Green. What a pass. Line. Threw it to where nobody could catch it but Dante Green, and Dante Green caught it for 36. The dot, I mean, Fox throwing dots out here. Oh, sorry, Brian. Goes absolutely. Right it's a key of fail. No. Stop by Mythical Slayer. For another game. Oof. It's a drop by Dante Green. Who we've been hyping up. Gonna come through with a catch. Thought someone was gonna intercept that tip. Almost 50 seconds left in the first half. Intercepted! Oh my god! What a play! Kendall! Nancy stuff right there. Kendall picked the ball out of his hand. He said, Give me that. He just politely took the ball out of his hand to start rumbling and tumbling down the field. <laughs> what a big fella. Outside running Israel. Get stopped by Adrian AJ Ayo. Who had had himself a game last week. To the loss to the Gazelles. Final play here of the first half, and it looks like it might just be a touchdown for the Pharaohs. That is a Israel touchdown. Hannibal. They've been going off, bro. Looking like He's Micah up. Pope in his younger days. Real. Wow, look at that. 21 to 7 here at the half. After that first score for the Black Guard, um, it hasn't been too good for them on offense since. Dante Green has really uh, been doing a lot of the work for him, them, himself. Three catches, almost 100 yards. Look at little Terry, though. Two for two, 97 and two touchdowns. That man only throwing touchdowns today. I'm glad little Terry has found some success outside of the Lancers. You know. Little Terry, he's um my favorite for most improved, most improved player of the year. Wow, Little Terry is your favorite for most improved player of the year? Yeah. Huh. Solid argument. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. He definitely has the weapons around him to make it happen. He has a good old line. Um, he's got every, yeah, he's got everything he needs to, to do it. You know, you can't really knock somebody for being on the Lancers last season as they had. Practically nobody to help him. He actually had no wide receivers to help him at all. He had, he had, only had, he had Dallas Dixon and Avery Montoy. That was it. And one of those guys is now retired. Uh, but the Pharaohs are up 21 to 7 right now over the Black Guards. They found their groove on offense. They've now really found a groove on defense. I mean, they're just manhandling the quarterback now um, and just taking the ball from him. But um, this hopefully should be a. Uh, Great second half, great final two quarters. So let's see what uh, it's got in store for us. DPJ. Outside running Israel again. Oh, he has he has an edge. 30, 21 yards on the carry for Israel. Hand the bill. Lester, five yard run. Lester touchdown. Feeling off of people. That's that man is feasting and feasting right now on this run game. Real. That's their They're tight end doing that, doing the things. 
interesting strategy. They're going to go for two, and Steve. Steve Get in some, oh, I thought he was about almost to, stepped out of bounds. Wow, I was about to say, man, what is that happening? He, I, I didn't he know he was going to turn it upfield. <laughs> he also knows some more, some that we don't know. Maybe something about that sideline, you know. Yeah, it worked, but dang, Woo. close to death right there. He's letting the CCE tweak a little too much. Screen. Oh, he couldn't even catch the screen. Oh, deflected by rock solid. Long time will answer. Rock solid. A uh, actually has 158 tackles with the Lancers. Leads the Lancers all time in tackles. Interesting. Now is a Pharaoh. Also leads them in tackles for loss with 32 and sacks with 13. I think Leo Eats. Ferris might have to break some of those records, man. I don't know. He's a dog. As well as 21 deflections. So leads, oh. Rock Solid leads the Lancers in tackles, tackles for loss, sacks, deflections, and is tied or is sitting in, nope, 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 tied for third in interceptions. And leads the Four team in, in defensive touchdowns. Does he lead the team, does he lead the team in um, the flux, what you said? Uh, yeah. Poor Clay Gamble. Kelt Gamble. He's... Oh, at Israel, just... has no one to stop here. Three yards. Wow, 53 to the house. Like, it's nothing. Ferrell's are no, it's rolling. Hard to sit, it's kind of hard to sit the edge and stop these outside runs when we have nobody... On the edge to do anything for you. That's why Israel has been able to run all over this defense with no problem when he wants to and how he wants to. Ooh, big hit. Bronze is not an interception, you know. I mean, bought, caught it over the defensive back. Kind of embarrassing, I was, you know, me, but. Just some elite ball placement, that's all. You no, know, yeah, the McBot has been, been throwing dots. Oh, get off me! Oh my god. If you. Getting trouble by a McBot is. It's very wild. Easy, the devious work right there, but. It's left, and this offense is on the move now. Finding Dante Green over the middle for nine yards, just short of the first down. They bought it's on been the fun, edge. but uh, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I'll see y'all later, man. I had an amazing time in the booth with y'all. It's a fun time right. enjoying you here in the Around the World studio. Till next time. Up the middle. Jared Kendo. All right, time for the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. This game's already over with. And a little bit, we should see fans starting to leave the um, lead the stands. Wow, Steven Universe. Steven Universe. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. no, he didn't. 47. That might literally be the best play um, 
the black guard has done this whole game. Four to three yard boot from Steven Universe. Oh, oh shoot. EBJ down the south line. Mm. Not fast enough to run, outrun the Nick bot. Oh, Israel. Okay, Dang. Israel. Israel doing like he just can't be stopped. Oh, let's um, scurvy Steve um getting stopped by the bot. Oof. I think you're gonna return. Gets hit. PFL CJ Jones. So you are lost. Kind of boring to watch now. As to because they're sorry as as it in the bag. <laughs> oh, I thought it was about to be uh, coughed up that that right there, coughed up the ball. But instead, Times Letterwood comes up with a sack. Third down. It's forty three to ten. Wow. Third and twenty two. They can They won't do it. You don't think so? Oh. Bears are just too great. You know what I'm saying? Barrows are tied for the third best overall in the league. One of the historic franchises that hold a lot of value in the earth back in my day. But now I can't run with these boys no more, so back in back in uh back in your heyday. Yeah. Oh, Israel making the man miss. Looking, at, look at him on the floor. Um, not a great look. Israel lost out again. Get stopped this time by AJ Mayo. He's going to a seven. Uh, six tackle of the game. They're going to punt it for the first time. It'll be out of bounds, so there won't be no return. Down, second and five. Looking to throw. Wow, throw it out of um, bounds. Yeah, it could be illegal touching, but guess they just decided not to call nothing. The rest seems, the rest seems not to call anything. I guess it's like old school football. And looks like that'll be the final play here of the game. And man, oh man, the black guard did not get it going here in this one as they got uh, got beat by the Pharaohs, 43 to 10. But they did put up 10 points, a lot more than a lot of a lot of people were projected here in this one. So that is good to see. Offense has something to build on now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, 
man, this was a lot of fun. The crowd and atmosphere here in Bermuda is always amazing. It's an excellent game. Israel was your player of the game. 12 rushes, 189 yards. Got the hat trick with three touchdowns. Beaston and Feaston out there today. It was uh, really hard to stop once he broke that edge. But, like I said, Farrells went at 43-10 to 10 over the Black Guards. Little Terry was 2 for 2, 97 yards, 2 touchdowns. All he was throwing today was touchdowns. Damian Paris Johnson caught one of them. Lester caught one of them. Uh, Israel was your player of the game. We know what he did. And then the defense. Kendall got a crazy interception. Raquan got a deflection. CJ Jones got two of them. Leatherwood got a sack. And a couple tackles from loss from Slater, Kendall, Leatherwood, and Jones. Jones got, or not Jones, a big H man got seven tackles, and Baloric Squared got six tackles. Bermuda side of things, Dante Green had over 100 yards. McBots, a couple McBots did their thing. Um, oh yeah, AJ Mayo had two tackles for a loss, Death Row had a tackle. Steven Universe had one from 47 yards. You know, kicker coming in clutch to add three points uh, in that fourth quarter. But, man, this was a great game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> it was a good one to watch. We uh, we appreciate everyone tuning in for this one. Uh, Pharaohs win this thing 43-10 to 10 over the uh, over the Black Guards. But this one was a good one. We appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this one. We got one more Coming up next, it's the Berlin Hellhounds, Minnesota Polar Bears. That one's going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait for that one. We got a good Around the World Sports Network crew ready to tune in and get that one going. Um, it's the late night game that nothing good happened after dark. So we'll have to see how that one plays out. But this was a great prime time Around the World Sports Network game. And we'll see y'all later.